Tutorial 4, The Fixture Builder. For each fixture included in a show, the console uses a fixture definition file called FDF, containing the informations necessary to hide from the user's view all technical details. In this tutorial we will learn how to create an FDF file directly from the console. Chapter 1, Access to the Fixture Builder. Starting from the editor, press menu, setup, and then, fixture builder. You can edit an existing fixture files or create a new one. Press menu, open, and select a fixture from your library. Take a fixture as example. It immediately visualizes a list of all parameters of the selected fixture in the central part of screen. Press palette to access into the list of pre-stored palette of the fixture profile. Pressing commands you visualize the list of reset functions of the fixture profile. Chapter 2, Add Parameters. We will build a fixture starting from zero to show in details all required operations. For example a clay papy sharpie. Press menu, and then new. Insert the total number of DMX channel. 16. Press add parameters to insert the functions of the fixtures. The parameters selection window will open. Select the features included in the fixture, following the DMX charts. If the fixture includes parameters which are not listed, choose a parameter with a similar function, to be subsequently renamed. Start with parameters, color wheel, shutter, dimmer, static gobo, prism, prism rotation, effect prism can be added as a prism, frost can be added as effect, focus, pan and tilt. These channels are managed at 16 bits. Function. Reset and lamp control can be added as macro. Chapter 3, Edit Parameters. All parameters can be edited also after have been inserted. Select the parameter to edit. You can change name pressing rename button. Change effect in, frost. If I want to change the order of visualization, press move up or move down. Change the value of patch height to edit the DMX channels assigned to that parameter. In the same window you can also edit the values of standby, highlight, locate, assigned to the specific parameter. Chapter 4, Palette Window In this chapter we will learn how to patch palette. Let's create two palettes, one color palette and one gobo palette. Press new palette. Insert the name to display and confirm. Red. Now we visualize our palette into the window. Select the palette type from the wheel. Color. And the parameter and value which activate the palette. Color, 8. Proceed to add a gobo palette now. Gobo 1. Gobo, value 6. Chapter 5, Commands Window. In this chapter we will learn how to insert commands. Pressing new command button allows to add a new command in the list. Lamp on. The commands value are set using the wheels. Internal patch is the DMX address for the output of command. DMX value is the value of output on that channel. Time is expressed in seconds and indicates the time that value remain constant during output. More complex commands can be added by inserting more rows of value through the add row button. Chapter 6, Save in Library. Once finished your fixture profile it can be saved in the library. Press menu, save as, and select the folder. If the fixture had already been saved, it will be simply overwritten. The program always verifies the date you inserted in your FDF file, and indicates with a diagnostic message if any inconsistency is found. Chapter 7, Check the Created Fixture. Patch your fixture into the editor to check the fixture we have created. Parameters are shown on the four encoder wheels. They are grouped in the six families of attributes. Palette will be visualized in the palette view. Color. Gobo. Commands can be found in the commands view. Press menu, commands. We warmly invite you to share your fixtures file with us. The online library already contain over 1500 files. We would really appreciate your contribution to keep the library always updated for the whole user community. 
Thanks for your attention.